Hey guys, it's Mark again. Just want to do a real quick update video for those who saw my Facebook post about the uh, <coughs> the ruined tower piece I was working on. I uh, did kind of a little something a little bit different from the uh, Hearst Arch piece that it was modeled after, and uh, this is going to be for my home game. It's actually a ruined Elven uh, observatory. Which I'll just do a real quick uh, scan around. I got it all dry brushed. I got a little bit of flock in different places. Look like some vegetation growing. Turn this thing real quick. I wanted to kind of go for something in between, like that Lord of the Rings, uh, Rivendell look, and something more of a, like a Dragonlance setting. But uh, as I said, the whole point in the uh, the book of this is going to be an ancient uh, Elvish observatory, like lost in you know in the millennium, that's been uh, refound. You can see there's uh, some inscriptions on the pillars. Steps going up. Let's get my hand out of the light there. But, uh, like I said, I'm going to use this in probably, uh, it's probably going to be a two part uh, adventure, the one I'm doing. <clears throat> so I'm not sure how long I'm going to need this piece for, but uh, I went ahead and made it modular because I have a friend who's into uh, wargaming. And he may want it when I'm done, but uh, good thing is, after I'm done with it, he can use it for wargaming. So let me go ahead and move all these pieces apart. And uh, yeah, so there we have a ruined piece, piece of ruin, piece of ruin. Oops, I can turn this bad boy. And more ruins. So hopefully when I'm done, he may be able to put some more use to it as uh, table pieces on his wargaming table. And if he doesn't want it, I'll take it to SensiCon and get rid of it, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that is it. Uh, I know a couple of you expressed interest in seeing what it looked like when it was all done. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and you all have a good day. Bye-bye.